Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Higer Hybrid. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how I set up my SOG garden around the Spider Farmer SF2000 301H Evo chip Samsung diode LED fixture here. It's a pretty awesome fixture. I want to kind of focalize this setup around this, this light because I did design everything around this specific lighting fixture for this specific grow. We're going to do something new on the channel. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun here with this grow and I'm just going to kind of step out of the normal. We're going to do something exciting and a little bit different. I think you guys are going to like this. So, you know, stay tuned. It's a fantastic fixture here. So let's get into it. We're going to start off by drilling a hole in our flood and drain table here for this fitting, the drain fitting and the fill valves here. One and three eighths inch. I use a step bit specifically for this. I noticed that it just does a better job cutting on the plastic and there's less room for errors for this application. I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up with the uh, razor. I'm going to install these fittings. Let's unscrew this bulkhead. And you want to ensure that these have a, a seal. So when you purchase yours, make sure it does have that seal there because that is going to ensure that your table doesn't leak. Go ahead and install these and tighten that down. Fasten everything up, make sure it's nice and snug. Go ahead and do the other one as well. One is a fill and the other one is a drain. We're gonna install the table inside the tent right here on top of a just a regular bin. So if you can acquire one of these tables, specifically this one is a two foot by two foot, you can just set it on top of whatever you have, a stand. In this case, I just used a bin. I tried to keep it as practical as possible. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on this setup. I, I went out to my storage and just kind of gathered up some extra parts. And you see me assembling this stuff here with these pots. I'm gonna kind of blast through this, if you will. You guys understand how all this goes together, but I do want to show you in a video. So in case there's anybody new out there watching, you have an idea of how I assembled this entire system here. We're gonna go ahead and cut this pipe. And we're gonna attach it to the fill side. This corrugated tubing here is can be a little bit tight on the three quarter inch fittings, but you know, you gotta put a little muscle into it and uh, you know, it's doable. But I, I prefer it because I don't have to clamp anything down. But you know, it is kind of like a one and done scenario, if you will. Just gonna kind of fill these up. I have pre rinsed this uh, expanded clay pellets here. Gonna install the meter for this grow because I do want everybody to understand what's going on and I'm installing the spider farmer TDS meter here. We're going to be using that along the way as well. That's going to give us our, our, all of our readings on the spider farmer app moving forward. So I'm demonstrating here how I intend to do a water change in this smaller system with limited access and space. Pretty much just grab an extra length of hose and hook it to the fill valve by unscrewing the top of that cap and just putting that hose into a five gallon bucket and switch it to your fire spider farmer app, go ahead and hit pump and uh, then toggle it off when you're done. So that's how we're going to do this water change on this particular system. Go ahead and screw that cap back on, put everything back. And I just want to emphasize a little bit more on this specific uh, spider farmer S F 2000 fixture with the 301H Evo chips by Samsung. It's a fantastic light fixture and I think it's perfect for this specific application. And I'm really excited about moving forward through this grow. Um, I want to step out of the normal and do something a little different on the channel. And I think this setup and the overall performance here is what a lot of people might be looking for if they're growing their own greens at home and trying to produce their own medicinal medicines. But stay tuned for part two, guys, because I did leave the plants out of this specific video for obvious reasons. And in the next video, we're going to get on with the transplanting and we're going to have some more fun. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Hi, bro.